My friends, please pay attention to the information I'm about to cover and research the links that will post below this video so that you understand none of this is my opinion, it is fact. This issue is the most important issue going on in the world. It is scientific tyranny. I've read literally hundreds of government white papers and documents and books like EcoScience where the White House science czar talks about forcibly drugging the water to dumb you down and sterilize you. But now, they're in the New York Times and Time Magazine and everywhere, and all the major medical journals promoting not only drugging the water with lithium, which, by the way, they're already doing, but now they're announcing it to make you servile. But now they are admitting that they plan to deploy something I learned about a decade ago, hundreds of different vaccines. They're really biological reengineering live viruses that they inject into your body, and the live viruses go in and attack your brain. And they claim, oh, it's to stop drug addiction. Those same receptor sites that pick up opiates and nicotine and alcohol pick up your normal endorphins. It's part of being a normal human being. Those drugs mimic that. And the viruses attack those receptor sites and kill them and create dead tissue. It is a vaccine-induced live virus lobotomy. Now they're coming out and saying the American people and the people of the world are sick. And major medical journals are saying we need to give everybody these shots to make them feel better, to stop having anxiety, to stop being angry. In other words, to take away your instinct for self-preservation your will to survive, to make you accept all the bad things that are happening, to turn you into a biological android, a type of zombie. You cannot make this up. Please send this video to everyone you know. For God's sakes, understand how serious this is. This is a global scientific corporate takeover of life itself. The globalists aren't just re-engineering corn and wheat and every other major crop and engineering sterilants into them. Suddenly, all over the news, they're promoting lithium and Prozac and other drugs in the water. Head bioethicist at Cambridge, they're the people that advise and set medical policy for doctors, are announcing they want to force drug you, and they're calling it cognitive enhancement. I've got a CBS news piece where they say that mercury helps your intelligence when everyone knows it causes brain damage. Mercury-containing vaccines may help not harm kids, according to two new studies in the journal Pediatrics. So when they say cognitive enhancement, they mean cognitive brain damage. They mean taking your essence, literally your psyche, who you are away. And they sit up there saying, well, if, if we put Prozac in the water, it'll cut suicide, when it's admitted that Prozac on its insert can cause suicide. I have mainstream news articles that have just come out in the last few days in England where people have a tenfold increase in convulsions and they develop epilepsy after the flu shot. I talked to top scientists who studied the flu shot last year and found bizarre viral RNA in it that deals with the brain. I've had top brain surgeons on, like Dr. Russell Blaylock, to talk about this and the government documents that he's read, how this is part of a eugenics population control program. I mean, here it is. London Telegraph, flu jab linked to fits and under fives. And it goes on to say they've been told not to give children 110,000 in England under five the shot because they had convulsions at 10 times the regular rate. Lindsay Lohan isn't what matters. Mel Gibson isn't what matters. The depression doesn't even matter. War with Iran is not even that important compared to a medical dictatorship. And under the National Health Service in England, and now national health care in the U.S., they're slashing regular health care like cancer surgery or having a broken leg fixed and converting it over to psychiatry and this biological warfare or biopsychiatry where they say, don't worry about drugs anymore for your depression. We're going to give you a shot that alters your brain by viruses literally attacking your brain. And they're rolling it out in public trials, over a hundred of these vaccines right now. And they're clearly spiking other vaccines with it. If you love your children, if you love your family, you've got to realize this is a creeping, scientific, incremental, soft kill system. Let's go over some of these articles. Jab that could put a stop to stress without slowing us down. And it says they're going to make humans better. 
They've re-engineered potatoes and corn. Why not just re-engineer humans? And they quote uh, all these major medical journals saying how great it is. And they say, this could change society, the professor said. And they have a government-funded Stanford team with these neuroprotective viruses. And this particular vaccine, one of hundreds, is a live herpes virus engineered to only eat certain key brain tissue. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing really. I just feel that I need something stronger. If you have a problem, don't hesitate to ask for assistance. Yes, thank you. I'll be all right. Call 348. They're not asking you. They're just rolling it out. And this isn't like some uh, drug that they give people for a decade that causes hundreds of thousands of women to have deformed children. This isn't some drug that just makes one person, you know, have a heart attack. All these other recalled drugs, these aren't even drugs. These are genetically engineered nanotech viruses that go in and turn you into a servile biological android. Do you understand? The vaccines that they're rolling out are live virus bioweapons that re-engineer your brain. You've seen the reports where all over the world, Asia, Africa, Latin America, Central Asia, they give children UN-sanctioned polio shots, and the children come down with weaponized polio and die. And the government admits, oh, it was an accident with that vaccine. People are now waking up to the fact that the vaccines are causing convulsions and brain damage and cancer. And so what's their answer? They're coming out and saying, don't worry. Instead of a shot, have a banana. They're coming out. Nobel laureate scientist defines... Future vaccines is food. They're pharmacological crops that grow the live virus, whether it gives you cancer or gives you polio or literally sends viruses in to eat parts of your brain. It's all being done. Bill Gates is coming out with a biologically engineered mosquito to forcibly deliver vaccines to you. Uh, there's new drug discovery going on. Our foundation is back to vaccine that's going into phase three trial that starts in a couple months and that should save over two-thirds of the lives if it's effective. And most sickeningly, over and over again, they claim, oh, it's to make you not depressed anymore. All of you have problems. You shouldn't be upset about things. No, we're meant to get upset at a biological level and say no to this tyranny. And so they're coming out saying, oh, we're going to re-engineer your brain, cognitive enhancements. We're going to help you. The mercury's helping your brain on newscasts all over the country. Oh, the convulsions are helping you. Oh, lithium, a toxic metal that they want to put in the water, it's helping you. You're going to feel much better after all of this is done. What's wrong? Never mind. They're not coming for us. They're already here. We're in danger. Many of you who have a child who seems to be dumbed down and isn't as smart as anybody else in your family and something's wrong with them. It's the vaccines. It's the GMO food. Many of you who had an 18-month-old baby who was healthy and happy, they take that third round of shots. They have a convulsion that night and they never talk again. They're turning you into servile minions who will do whatever you're told and who can't get angry and can't resist. Why do they want lithium in the water? They admit to make you submit. What does sodium fluoride and all the studies do? Make you submit. And what do these vaccines do? They make you passive. They make you unable to get angry. Anger is a propulsion system to make you stand up for your species. This is a hostile corporate takeover, the very genetic code of not just the plants and animals, but humanity itself. It is the most diabolical covert operation ever seen. And now these people are out in the open. It's admitted. Do you understand? It's admitted. They want to make these shots mandatory in public schools to make you servile. Oh, but you don't want to become addicted to drugs. What do you think drugs mimic? They mimic natural chemicals in the brain that stir creativity and anger and love and everything else. It's those key receptors. They're literally going for the soul of man that is in the beautiful, detailed, complex computer that is the human mind. This is a hack against the human mind, a hack against the human soul, and we must stand up and resist it. 
they realize there's a worldwide revolt against this technocracy, against dehumanization. You need to become educated on these facts and join the resistance against this scientific dictatorship. Now is the time to realize that history is taking place right now, that we're living in the 21st century, and a scientific tyranny has taken over. If we are successful in defeating these people, historians will look back on this time as the greatest covert genocide in history. They will look back on it as the ultimate example of pure evil and corruption, this creeping death. Now I've warned the public, and I will continue to detail what's happening. In areas where lithium in trace amounts is in the drinking water, there seems to be a lower level of suicidality and in the Texas counties that were studied, there's actually a lower crime rate. And how these enemies come out and talk in their simpering, lisping tones real softly to, to coax you and, 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 and to advertise all this death and dehumanization as if it's good. The theory is that very low or trace amounts of lithium enhance connectivity between neurons. And doing that over the course of a lifetime, a lifetime exposure makes the brain more healthy. Now I want to talk to the social engineers whose religion is a control freak system of dehumanization. You are like cancer. You're racing through the body politic. You think you're invincible and you may kill the host. You may destroy our species, but not without a fight. You are disgusting, wicked people who love ruling over others. Everything you do creates death and destruction in its path. You sold Prozac as a way to stop depression when in your own trials you knew it massively increased suicide. Now you're telling us how great lithium, a toxic metal, an antipsychotic is going to be put in the water mandatory. We've got the studies. It's already in most of the water supplies. We know you're adding it. You are sickening, disgusting filth. And we're going to rally the world population against you, and we're going to bring you to justice. And I pray, God, that humanity makes it through what you've attempted to do, how you've saddled up next to us like a spider in the dark and tried to spin your webs of control around us while we were asleep. But the sleeping giant that is humanity is waking up to who you are and what you are. And I pray to the creator of the universe, and I beg for just the average person out there as well to research just who you are and how you're involved in a scorched earth takeover of society to secure your ill-gotten gains. And I want you to know that I'm gonna do everything I can to rally free humanity against you and that we are going to defeat you. But whether we win or not, whether you lose or fail, at least we were real humans. We were good, decent people that saw the truth and we stood up against you. And no matter what happens in this, you are still degenerate, dehumanizing filth. You are aberrant, malfunctioning trash, and you look at everything good and wholesome and tell us that we are malfunctioning. So I pray that you be defeated, but either way, in this time and space, on this planet, good people stood up against what you are and did everything they could to help the innocents. When I look at all the children that you've brain damaged and all the children dying of cancer, and I look at all the things that you've done to humanity, it makes me wanna vomit you are doing this because this is only the next wave to first neutralize us so we're calm and sedate and can't resist so you can roll in with the hard kill weapons. I know that. And I want to tell you something else. A lot of you that think that you're part of the winning team, you're going to find out that your masters hate you more than they even hate free humanity because they know that you know where the bodies are buried and they know you're a bunch of wicked control freaks that they need to kill first once they take over or you'll start trying to overthrow them. They understand your nature. They use their propaganda to manipulate good men throughout history to serve their evil aims. So understand this, you're going to fail one way or another. You've decided to put your soul on the side of darkness for all eternity for what you're doing to humanity and butchering our DNA and literally mutating the human spirit in your control freak lust for power. And so all of you, one way or another, will fail. So all that matters is, in this time and space, I stood up for what's right. I saw you clearly for what you are. And I know in my heart there's a very good chance we're going to beat you. But that's up to all the people out there watching this. Do they have the courage to face the facts? Do they have the courage to take action? If you feel you are not properly sedated, call 348-844 immediately. 
Failure to do so may result in prosecution for criminal drug evasion.